It's time to count down the best of the Barneys and bus stops on Piers Morgan and Sensitive in 2023. Wake up, people! Because no festive season is complete without a good old fashioned argument. Well, I'm asking Who determines? You, do you get I'm to asking you, it? No, I'm asking, get to determine I'm asking you to, it? Who gets to determine I'm asking what the line you is. to work out. I was coerced into this interview. You weren't coerced into this interview. Yes, I was. Fine. Answer if my question. If you want to just shout at me, should, that's your prerogative. Should Hamas, your TV, your show. Should Hamas okay? stay in power? It's the question. I'd rather do it on camera. No, 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 no. no. Why? We'll explain why. We are not prepared to apologise no, no, no. to millions so, so, of people so look, for screwing so, their no, personal no, no, no. finances. So, so. You not don't care also. about the little guy. Oh, Billions of bees get those, murdered and you bees? don't care. Where why are you against nuclear weapons? Hang on. If you're, if you're not against Dresden, why are you against nuclear weapons? Let me weapons? ask the question. I've done this before, this job. Let me do it. I've been answering your question, you answer mine. It's actually not my job to answer your questions. Welcome to the 12 ding-dongs of Christmas. And straight in at number 12, pop star Sam Smith, pronouns they, there, for the moment, was in the news this year for a rather racy concert performance. I invited James Barr and Douglas Murray to give us their uncensored review. Douglas, let me start with you. Uh, I don't get this Sam Smith thing. It just seems like every week he deliberately... They. I'm sorry, they, even though there's only one. There's only one of them. Why? Why is Sam Smith they? No, please do address Douglas first, but I just need to well, correct just you to if you've clarify, got a why is, That's how they identify themselves, why is, why is one person they? Because that's how they identify. Why have I got to go along with it? Because they've asked you to. So what? No one's asked me to. Even the Pope respects people's pronouns now. I don't have to respect anybody's pronouns. Well, that's fine, as long as All that's right. your decision. My cool. pronoun is hottest man in the world. Yeah, well, I'm happy to call you that, Well, Pierce. go on, then. Some may disagree, but well, yeah, go on. Go on, if then. that's what you are, go on, then. then cool, I will address you as the hottest man in the world. Throughout the entire interview. Throughout the entire okay, interview. OK, let's stick to that. Douglas, let's come back to you. Uh, you don't have to call me the hottest man in the world, even if you're thinking it. Um, <laughs> Sam Smith. I, to me, he's just on an ever-deteriorating campaign to be as vulgar and offensive as he possibly can. Am I missing something? Uh, he, he's doing what pop stars have done for decades, which is trying to shock as a means to get publicity. And, of course, it's pretty successful. I mean, we're talking about him at the moment. Uh, but it's, it's striking that it's sort of very unoriginal. I mean, all the stuff he's doing, the sort of over-sexualised stuff, the sort of satanic stuff, Madonna did this 40 years ago. Um, uh, you know, uh, uh, pop stars have done this and more for decades now. Uh, I think the only thing that Sam Smith has got sort of going for him on this and the thing that actually is making people notice him on this is that, first of all, he keeps sort of throwing these bollards in the way of everyone by changing his alleged gender all the time. You know, okay, I, he came so out I some years ago... Why do you say, James? He, I'll bring he, you in. He came... He came out many years ago as gay, and then he said he was actually uh, gender queer, and then he said he was non-binary, and he said he didn't know what it meant. Of course, he didn't, because there's no such thing. They. But he he said that they were going to. Uh, he said that he thought that he was gender queer. And he he didn't know what it meant, but he said that he would explain it someday when he did know. And I thought, sort of think if you're going to make everyone else distort the language, you should know what you're talking about first. So he does that to get publicity, obviously. And the other thing he does is he does this sort of. Um, you know, like uh, taking all these clothes off stuff. And, and the thing that makes it different from other people is that when, oh, I don't know, Justin Timberlake or Rihanna or someone stripped down, they do so because they look good, like their bodies look good. Sam Smith is, like, pudgy and very ugly. And so people look at it and he looks ridiculous. And the problem is, is that he's saying, don't ridicule me, but it's hard not to ridicule people when they present this themselves. Right, well, that's absolutely okay. disgusting. Yeah, I, what are you talking about? Okay, on that point, I completely agree. Why say don't ridicule me when you deliberately make yourself look ridiculous? No, that is disgusting. That is a completely disgusting. Well, it is disgusting. Rhetoric, yeah, we do find it disgusting. No, what you're saying is why disgusting. we're allowed to find it you, disgusting. No, you are not. Yes, you I can't am. Keep commenting on what people look like all the time. Yes, I can. Think it's an if okay they're going to dress do. like that on a stage in front of millions of people around the world, absolutely, I can. Thank you for getting the pronoun correct. I really appreciate. That. Listen, did I? Douglas, yes, you did. Well, have, you called, have you called me mine? Hottest man in the world, okay. Piers, according to some and yourself. Yeah. Um, listen, 
the Pope recently said they completely accept every gender identity and that, that everyone is a child. Why should child anyone be compelled to use a pronoun from someone who's I changed their own just... identity three times in three I years? I just want to go back so as well. Also and you can keep up with them. Actually, I think it's yeah. very important to note that other pop stars have done this, including Louis Capaldi, who recently did a campaign mm. where he was naked on a billboard. And there were nowhere near as many vile <laughs> comments at Louis Capaldi's body. The only reason... But you can't seriously... The only reason there's a problem for Sam doing it is because you aren't happy with his gender identity because it makes you feel No, insecure. I don't care about his gender identity. I just don't feel I can be compelled to use pronouns. I don't care about that's that. That's fine. Don't use them if you don't yeah. want to. That's well, wrong, okay. but that's totally Well, you just told me I had to. No, I think you should, but if you don't want to... So I don't have to. Decision. Piers, shut up. Well, I'm not Piers. I'm the hottest man alive. <laughs> right. Okay. Right, so you're um, changing your name now. You're no longer... But my point about Sam Smith is it's just an orgy of, in my view, narcissistic, self-indulgent, deliberately shocking stuff. And Douglas has got a point. He does, he looks terrible. Okay, so- Why would you do this? You're friends with Ozzy Osbourne, right? Yeah. And Ozzy Osbourne ate a bat's head on stage. Yeah. That could be considered vulgar. I mean, he basically- Ozzy Osbourne the, never did anything like this. He started the COVID pandemic. You and can't you're seriously think about this. Sam Smith getting you their tits out. You can't seriously think what we're looking at here is actually anything other than ridiculous. No, I think it? it's absolutely fa fantastic. Really? Yeah, I do. I think it's brilliant. I think it's sexy. I sexy. think it's inspirational. You think that's sexy? That is, and I, that's someone. Do you think what we're looking at right now is sexy? Yes, I do. You're both cis, white, straight men. You can carry on. I'm not being... a cis anything. Uh, right. Uh, Honestly, I'm sorry. sorry. I'm just carry... I don't sorry, even what know what cis say? is. Look, it's what sorry, is what, cis? What did you just say? If you just want to both be. When I was born, what did you just say? I was a cis. What is a cis? Uh, hang Listen, on, hang on. I got to hear what, 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 what I'm going to discuss. But what I am going to tell you is completely out. Apparently, our skin colour is now relevant. I got to hear that. We're white men. Got to hear that. You got So you're now being world debate. So you're now being racist and calling me a cis, a sissy or something. Hang on, Piers. Piers. Wait a second. What did he just say? What did you call us? Repeat it for Douglas. It says you were both... I can't remember, to be honest. With you, cis you said, I think you said... OK, why don't you shut cis up for a moment? Cis white, straight, more. I Doug think you straight said... Man. Well, Douglas isn't I think straight. You said oh, that you we're both, Douglas. I, I, I think you said we're both cis, white, straight men. First of all, I am white. Secondly, I am a man. Thirdly, I've been out and gay my entire adult life, which is about 25 years now. I well, don't know how old you, you are. Shame on you for but not I was, supporting but I was, the community, I was out Douglas. As, I was... I was out as gay when you were still prancing around talking about whether or not you were. So do be quiet. Do stop judging other people. And if I oh, were you, me I'd do judging a little bit of research. Are you joking? I would do a little, oh, my God, Douglas, that's do ridiculous. I I'm not the one the judging tiniest, other people here. I'm just pointing I out would, facts. I'm if, sorry if, I got your sexuality if, wrong. No, if I were you, I would do the tiniest bit of research before opening your mouth. You're embarrassing yourself. That's probably why people wouldn't want to come so. to your show. I don't think so. You're right. embarrassing yourself. Gentlemen, you're shame to the queer You know community. what? i tell you who's really embarrassing. <laughs> them, I'm not a member them of the queer I'm working community, here. I'm working you hard. stupid sod. I tell you I'm not a member <laughs> of the queer community. The person who ultimately about is genuinely community. embarrassing himself, herself, themselves, whatever, Jesus. is Sam Smith. Um, on that note, we'll leave it. Thank you both very much for <laughs> the picture of sexy Sam. I hate you, stage. Douglas. Yeah, uh, never Douglas, heard of you, thank mate. you very much. Cheers. James, thank you very much. I'm glad we ended with such har harmony. It's been a very harmonious <laughs> evening. <laughs> when online TikTok prankster Mizzy became a social media sensation with his decidedly anti-social stunts, I invited him into the studio for a little chat. Fresh from the courtroom, he's here now. All right, well, good evening to you. Hello, hello, Piers. Long time no see. What do you mean, long time no see? Last time I hopped on your thing with my friend. Oh, that's right, you, you appeared in the background, didn't yeah, you? Mate. When we were digging yeah, into yeah. mate. OK, well, I'm not your mate. Um, what, not I am mate is, so what, you? what I am is an interviewer who is... I'm curious about what has been motivating you to terrorise the people around where you live. Why do mm. it? I wouldn't really call it terrorising, I would just call it more having fun. You do these things. You take a dog from an elderly woman, you leapfrog over the top of an orthodox Jewish man standing at the side of the road, minding his own business. You go up to women in the street and say, do you want to die? It wasn't a woman, it was a man. And she even There says, were also women that you did this to. There was a woman there, but I only say it to the man. Right. You shouldn't be saying it to anybody. Fair enough, but why are you? Why, in the name of so-called prankster humour, why cause so much alarm and distress to so many people? Do you get your kicks out of doing that? Not necessarily, but you could say that this whole public outroar just makes me laugh because people are getting hurt over something that didn't happen to them. And that's how I see it as. What do you mean? People are getting hurt over something that didn't happen to them. Everyone acts like they, they have this persona, like they don't care, or uh, social media is a facade, this, that, and the other. But when me comes out and does the mad thing, everyone has something to say. It's not the mad thing. It's, it's just, the mad thing. It's, it's the mad a, thing. You, you, no. you, already you already said it was the mad thing. It's, it's a mad thing. No, it's, it's not mad. mad. It's, it's moronic. 
It's the kind of thing anybody could do, mm. and you do it for kicks and you do it for clicks, and you get your little moment on TikTok, and presumably your peer group that you referenced earlier, they all think, good on you, good on you, Mizzy, this is hilarious. Meanwhile, some poor woman thinks she's stolen her dog and is traumatised. Mm. Another woman has her two kids and you're bursting into their house uninvited. All right. Like you're jumping on Jewish people. See, I was right? jumping on already... Jewish people. Hold up, wait yeah, a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, no, no, stop. You did. Cool, it was a Jewish person, cool. But there was a trend going around on TikTok called 300. I've done this to numerous people, black people, white people, age, any mm. types of people, I don't discriminate. So don't stop saying orthodox Jewish person, like I only targeted him and it was only him that I went for. Mm. Why are you not. targeting anybody in that What would you mean, why am I targeting anyone? It was a trend, mm. it was a trend. I just done it for a trend. What's Literally the trend? Lads. What's the trend? 300, jump over someone at the time of the beat. However much you scare them. Uh, however much you scare them. I'm actually Remember not going to call you Mizzy, because it's, you. it's obviously a stage. I'll call you Bakari Bronze, right? All right. Bakari Bronze, let's try and talk to each other as human beings. All right, Piers All right. Morgan. Yeah, I'm trying to understand why there's no real remorse here. Do why do you not no understand what, is, what, do you mean, why what there's the no consequences real of your actions I went to go apologise off social media. I could have recorded that apology and that would have been another viral video, whether it's hate or whatever. Literally, hate brings money. Hate brings likes. Hate brings views. It doesn't matter. Love or hate, it still brings views. Why, would, why do you prefer to do the hateful stuff? I don't, not like I prefer to do the hateful stuff. It's just like it's easier to do the hateful stuff. Why are you laughing? And it's fun. Obviously, I don't think it's fun, but... You're a funny person. You do think it's funny. <laughs> You're a funny person. You do. I've seen the videos. You do Obviously, think it's just really funny. At the time, I think it's funny. My fan base thinks it's funny, and it's we outside, isn't it? It's a movement. But what's the deep movement? down, what's the movement? Deep down, being free and not letting anyone tell you nothing. That's why I can do all of this stuff. I have. To, I'm the most hated person on the internet right now. No, but you're not. Most people like, yeah, don't know who you are. Oh, okay, then. Whatever you say, innit? it. Whatever you say. Please. Most people watching this will have never heard of you and Whatever care you even say, less. Well, now they are. You just brought it to me. Now no, they are. They'll just, think, they are. They'll just look at the way you're behaving now and they'll think, yeah, he's a complete moron. All right, and you're a complete moron. You keep cutting me, interrupting me when I'm trying to talk. Because you keep talking in this animated manner, trying to stop animated me asking manner. you any questions. <laughs> And then Go you on. say, is, is it because I'm black? Is no. it somehow it's See, about a race? He's going back thing. to the race card. Why are you going back to that? I said that once. No, and you it, mentioned it. Well, I, didn't. I mentioned it once. I've never you once mentioned your skin colour. All right, cool. Go on. I don't care what colour you are. All right. If you were white, I'd have exactly the same view about your moronic behaviour. All right. But I'm curious, who in your family? is there to tell you this Why is Why do you need to go to my family? I'm my own person, so talk about me, Because you family. don't... No, 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 Because you don't... Talk about me, not my family. Yes, but here's the problem. What's the you problem? Are, you are clearly a product of your upbringing. No, I'm not. I'm my own person. I've always been my own person. I'm literally... You've had no one to tell you this is wrong. Of course people have told me it's wrong. M family, friends, everyone's told Who? me it's wrong. Who's told you it's what wrong? What do you mean? My own mother told me it's wrong. There's, there's been situations between me and my mum where right. I... Right, so talk. your mother doesn't like what you're doing. Of course, I, I, yeah. So why don't you stop doing it? Because my mother told why? me to stop doing something. Okay, and that's your mother. It. You listen to your mother. You listen to somebody else. I'm my own person. I'm I, I'm legally an adult now, so I can do what I want. What are you going to do now? What am I going to do now? Twitter, Mizzy is banned, and I'm going to be on Twitch. Yeah, I'm going to mm. start streaming on Twitch, IRL streams, gaming streams. My Twitch is Mizzy is live if you want to get at mm. that. But yeah. And do you want to try and come up with a sincere apology or not? No, I don't need to come up with no sincere apology. I already okay. have my own remorse, and I already... I already you don't have any remorse, have do you? What do you mean? Okay, then, whatever you... To you, it's all a bit of a like, jape. What? And if you steal yeah. some old woman's dog, it's, it's all a bit, a bit of, of fun. Job. If you jump on a Jewish man, it's all a bit of fun. If you run into people's houses with young kids and terrorise them, it's all a bit of fun. But what I'm saying to you, to you nothing is, really matters. What right? I'm saying to you is there's been plans to change up everything. Can you, you... You're just no help in it. You just talk your own thing, you have mm. your own set. Morals and yeah, so that's you. No, it's not about morality. I just okay, think, cool, cool, cool. I just Whatever think, you say, I'm, I'm, I'm still talking. I'm still talking. You yeah, interrupt I'm me again, again, please. Okay, let me. Here's Morgan. Why do you keep interrupting? Let me tell me, you, bro. we're going to put both of ourselves out of this misery, and we'll just end it there because yeah, you I are. Think you should end it. As I said at the like, start, bro. you're just a complete moron. And so are you. Uh, so until you, you stop being a moron, over people, bro. you will be treated you just talk like over a moron. People, bro. Uh, you are Mizzy. The man didn't really the moron. Uh, for the record, he wasn't August. paid for this, Boxing obviously. Um, I outside. feel like paying viewers actually haven't just Keep put up with it. Welcome back to my 12 Ding Dongs of Christmas. We're counting down the biggest of the Barneys and bust ups we've had on Uncensored in 2023. At number 10, a meaty debate between a chef who banned vegans and an activist who got very hangry about it all. But I'm joined now by the vegan ban himself, John Mountain, and here in the studio, animal rights activist Joey Carbstrong. Well, welcome to both of you. OK, John Mountain, why did you ban vegans from your restaurant? 
Uh, morning, Piers. Uh, I banned them from my restaurant because, look, I've been a chef for nearly 30 years, but on this particular incident, it was just too much. You know, they grouped together, which, you know, I'm very proud of the vegans for all sticking together, but they did. They grouped and banded together and then started hammering my business with one-star reviews. I saw my rating drop from a sensible 4.2 down to 2.8. They, they nearly broke me. God bless the vegans, though. He, he made a statement saying uh, the vegans are hangry and angry, but he carried on and banned all vegans from his restaurant because of one simple complaint. He's allowed a, to? Yeah, he's allowed to ban a whole group of people from well, the restaurant. he's a chef who's just sick of tailoring to vegan well, people who want to have all this stuff and... I don't walk around with uh, dead baby pigs facing them like that. Like, does that look like someone oh, who really a gives a damn about animals? Picture. Like, you know, and he, that's he, he, he that, that's his profile picture. Looking at a dead pig. Correct. In, Joey, in Australia, Joey, in Australia one you. second, I just want to say Joey, this. In me... Australia, pigs are killed in gas chambers, OK? They right. cause pigs, they're, they're horrible. Have you seen footage from inside a gas chamber? Joey, here's the thing. I recently that... exposed one in the UK, yeah. they Carbon scream dioxide. to death and beg for mercy. Okay. In Perth, there's a gas chamber called Lindley Valley Pork, right? And this guy serves pork at his restaurants. Right. And why would you be more Joey? upset that, of a little complaint as a chef than pigs being murdered let in me gas chambers? You, OK, let me ask you the question that I asked a vegan activist the other day, okay. which is that given that 80% uh, or 90% of the world's almonds come from California, where they are made in the involving the demolition of billions of bees who get murdered. How do you feel about the little guys? They don't guys? get murdered. Um, that's completely false, and I don't know why. How many billions? Excuse how many me, billions of bees die in, in the pollination? I've of got the 2022 data right on, here. Then. They die mostly from parasites and pests. 66 percent die mm. of uh, uh, varroa mites or other pests and parasites. But Some in die the making, from disease. In the making. Excuse me, of no, no. Almonds and avocados. <laughs> they don't. Oh, they do. Oh, they no, do. What, the data no, no. is here. It's this here. Do you know where I read this? Here this here is data from U.S. Department of Agriculture. Do you know where I read this? Wait, I read it in the Guardian, oh, the vegan no, Bible. <laughs> Even the Guardian <laughs> admitted me. that this you vegans who eat avocados Only and almonds... Only 6.7%. This is not... You don't so care also, about the little guys. It's not what we're about. I think each should be to their own and you should just enjoy your life. You know, if, yeah. if they're going to argue, right. Piers, I you feel that they should enjoy your life. All... But, but, Joey, why oh can't you... Why are you killing animals? Look at this. Joey, it's Posing a pig. with a murdered piglet. It's a pig. It's a pig. It's a pig. Yeah. Posing with That's a murdered piglet. And, and it Joey. wasn't just... You can't handle a simple complaint from a... And this woman, she's a very nice but Joe, woman. But Joey, I spoke to this young woman. Yeah. She's very nice, very kind, very polite. And yeah. you can't handle a simple complaint... Joey, let me ask you a question. A celebrity chef. Joey. And it's clear... Joey. Even meat eaters <laughs> complain about Joey. his restaurant. He doesn't ban all meat Joey, if you, you want to be, if you want to be a vegan, I don't care, right? It's entirely down to you. If you want bees being slaughtered. They're not being slaughtered. Billions of bees... Everyone go Billions and Google. Billions of bees are getting okay. killed by mites. Here's what, here's what I say. To everyone, to everyone watching this, either on the show tonight or on YouTube later, go and Google bees... U.S. Department bees, of Agriculture stats. Almonds, right here. avocados, yeah. and you'll see the truth. This is a gas chamber, piece. This is how pigs are killed and slaughtered in the UK. This is my is, investigation. Do you right. you a question? Why, don't you play me, why don't you play me the sound What's of billions pigs? of bees are being murdered? Headset? Well, I know that animals get killed so I can eat pigs. They're screaming to death. Right. Look at them. Face them. What do you think bees do? Face them. They're screaming to death. What do you think bees do when you murder them? They're, they get killed by mites. This is gas huh? chamber. Look at it. No, no, no. You they don't get, even want to look at it. They get coward. slaughtered. You're a coward. I'm not cowardly. Look at it. I love bacon. You promote it. You I love promote, bacon. You, you say you're against animal I love cruelty. sausages. <laughs> I love it all. I love eating meat. You love animal cruelty. Yeah. I'm prepared yeah. to admit I love eating meat. You're not prepared to denounce avocado and because almond. Because you're making up stats. Like, they, they don't get Because slaughtered. they actually lead to Pollination the extermination of they millions of bees. Yeah, yeah, John, final goes. word to you. Final word is how many vegans does it take to change a light bulb? Go on. None. They all oh, prefer to stay yeah. in the dark. Well, wait for the punchline. What's uh, the punchline? Uh, None uh, what? Uh, go have a cry made they of that complaint. They all prefer to stay in the dark. <laughs> go have a cry. Actually, the, the other one I like is, uh, how do you know when someone's vegan? Don't I'll worry. Show you gas chamber footage. Don't worry. The UK. They'll, they'll soon you. tell you and play uh, pictures and stuff of people of screaming. Pigs being murdered in gas. What they won't play you is bees being well, murdered. Joey, uh, Joey great brilliant. to see you. Bless John, you, thank you for joining me from Perth. I appreciate it. Go vegan, Pierce. With Ukraine unable to play host city because of the war, Liverpool welcomed Eurovision in 2023. A cause for joy and celebration, well, not for me. Eurovision returns to the UK this week after 25 year absence. It's supposed to be, of course, in Ukraine, who won it last time, but uh, obviously Ukraine can't host it. So Liverpool has the dubious honour of being host city. Uh, and that's fine. And everyone I know seems to be wildly excited about this, apart from me because I think Eurovision is a stain on humanity. Oh, 
Fantastic. Now, the first of two semi-finals was evicted on audiences last night ahead of the grand final on Saturday. Fans say Eurovision is a world-class festival of the arts, an exhibition of the best that pop music can offer. Recollections may vary. Take a look at this. That last act was called We Are the Winners from Lithuania. The one thing Lithuania has never won is anything. Um, unbelievable. I'm going to bring in now Sharon Osborne and Louis Wolf. Sharon's with me. Louis, wherever Louis is. Uh, the pair of them are going to try and... He's an Ireland, of course he is. They're going to try and persuade me that this ludicrous farce is actually a credible tournament. Louis, you go first. Try, come on. I say it's awful. Listen, I watched the semi-final last night. I know you do, but I think it's brilliant fun. I watch it every single year. There are some really good songs. You played all the bad ones. But there's some... ABBA came from it. Celine Dion, Johnny Logan, so many great people. It's light entertainment at its best, Piers. And you may not like it, but I love it. I think it... Honestly, Sharon... And I bet Sharon... Well, the thing is, it doesn't surprise me you like it. It's a Because when we did America's Got Talent together, you always put the nutty acts like that through. <laughs> and it was down to me, on behalf of the grateful American people, <laughs> to buzz them off. You love this crap. I oh, this do. Stuff. I do. It's not crap. It's it is. Cultural because it's, it's not very, cultural. It is. It's very interesting to see all these different cultures and what they consider to be entertainment. And it's very interesting. Look, a little... You know the worst thing about it? And I'm going to say this as somebody who what? went to Ukraine to interview President Zelensky and his, and his wife and I've obviously done a lot of stuff about the Ukraine war. I really didn't like Ukraine winning it last year simply because the country's at war. It was and good. I don't and I'm sure they're going to probably win it again this year for the same reason. The moment any competition to me goes into what I call just transparent virtue signaling. They weren't the best act. We all know that. Oh behave, of it's, course they Then were. it's not a competition. It's something else. It's like it's people just ticking boxes. No, it's people that like other people, peers. No, it's and not. try and understand that. Well, you know the worst thing, Louis, I, I when I went to Ukraine, I came through the train station to go back to Poland, and the train station manager yeah. gave me the hat that the winner of the Ukraine... That, that hat, he gave it to the train station guy in, in Kiev and signed it, and, he, and the guy gave it to me. Uh, and obviously, it was the last thing I wanted. I had to pretend. I had to pretend to be happy. You should have um, put it on for a picture. But let's Somebody not pretend would that, love that it. Ukraine. That, look, I love Ukraine. I love Ukrainians. I want them to win this war. I don't want to see them keep winning competitions simply because they're at war. It's ridiculous. They only won last year. I mean. I voted for them maybe ten times last year. I wanted them to win because of course of what was you do because you like was people. Good. All right, See? so should yeah. they win, and, should and they win was, the Football World Cup song. as well, then? Yes. They should win everything, should yes. they? Yes, yes. Yes. OK. Let's, Piers, it was a good song. We listened to the songs. Sharon and I are in the music business. It wasn't a good, it so wasn't a good song. Like. It wasn't a good song. It was. I haven't heard a, a good song, song on Eurovision, and it was a great I would say, since in... Since ABBA. <laughs> since ABBA. When was ABBA? 1970-something, right? Celine Dion, Johnny Logan... Bucks Fizz, loads of people. Bucks I Fizz? Mean, I watched last night, there's some amazing... Bucks Fizz? You're citing Bucks Fizz? I thought, I thought that uh, Switzerland was good. Did you like Switzerland, Louis? I did, but I love Finland. I know he's a bit crazy, but I loved it. I also loved Israel. I thought it was absolutely She's good. Brilliant. She's very good. But I think the whole thing is probably the problem with win. It. My other problem with it is it's a complete carve-up where all the countries basically look after their mates... None of it, none of the voting is genuine. <sighs> They'll often take the best song it and is. obliterate it because it's not from a country that's part of Piers, their little pact. Piers, you are wrong. The best song always wins. Always. Yeah, but the bar and is unbelievably the low. Really well last year. A, the bar is unbelievably low for that title, and B, the best song never wins. But it's about entertainment, Piers. It's about personality, it pres presentation, all of that. Well, let's see. This, this, this is the UK entry this year. Have a listen to some of this. Yeah, I know. Instead, I wrote a song about how you did me wrong. I could have cried at home and spent the night alone. Instead, I wrote a song. I feel much better now. Me and my girls are out. 
just get, please, get, stop that. Look, <laughs> this is my point. This is my point about that. That is, that you hear that in every Euro trash disco at three in the oh. morning when they want people to leave. They turn on that kind of stuff when they want no. to kick people out. No, no, it's she not... represents youth Piers, of today. No. That youth of today? Yes, There's she not does. a person under 50 who would listen to that and not think it's You're horrifying. You're wrong. You're wrong. It's for, it's it's for, for 80 year old guys no, now it's and not. their bimbo mistresses Pe to go and dance at Piers. In some nightclub Piers. In, in Lithuania at three in the morning. <laughs> that's what that's for. No. And the idea that you two <laughs> no, who do wrong. actually know this... your music, this is what offends me. You, you do. married to one of the great well, rock like stars in entertainment. history. It's entertainment. Weaned on rock music. Your Aussie. father, one of the great rock managers. And you, Louis Walsh, produce some of the great pop bands of all time. The fact that you have straight faces. Because it's As you try and persuade me that this garbage is it's serious fun. music. I love it. You Listen, don't Sam Ryder won. He does, so do I. I do love it's it. It's entertainment. I do. Are you Listen, both going to watch Pierce, the whole I thing on Saturday? Absolutely. Records? You're going to watch it? Are you proud? Absolutely. Proud. Louis, what about and Ireland Thursday, not getting through? No, it wasn't great. It wasn't great. Okay. It wasn't great. Oh, really? Um, there was a song at the Eurovision that Sharon. wasn't great. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Piers, there are some great songs. Neither of you believe a Give word a you're saying. Absolute you don't. rubbish. You do this we kind of do. thing to annoy people like no, me who have a really no, gifted no. musical ear. No, no, it's you do. not. It's about, it no. makes people happy. This is why I had to be the lead judge on America's Got Talent. Oh, boo. Because Sharon would go nuts and put these sort of acts through and I would have to then save the nation. But Sharon, Piers, there's a massive market. 150 million people can't be wrong. They can and they are. It, the whole thing no, is a complete travesty. Not. It's, it's a travesty. Not, the production not, is sensational. It's not, it's not. BBC have done a Fantastic. great job. It's amazing. The thing amazing. is un and, you know, Piers, it's, it's not just the songs. We watch for the clothes, the dancing, all the outrages yes. that go with the it. You don't know what's going to happen. All right, yes. just, just play me a little Sharon, bit of a mashup you know. we played at the start, please. This is it's the clothes, it's the music, it's the whole the whole ensemble. Yes, it's hey, everything. Let's remind ourselves of that. It's everything. Here we go. I mean, honestly, in a court of law, this is the moment that Rumpole of the Bailey goes, I rest my case. Literally, I rest my <laughs> no. case. Uh, I've got to leave Piers. it there, thank God. Two years uh, ago. No, 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 there's no more. Two there. years ago. Yeah, you, you've, you had a you've, you've both had a chance to How, persuade me. That's really Shout out me. Me. Fail. <laughs> It is utter nonsense. I will not be anywhere near a TV it's on not. Saturday night. Yes, and, you will. Uh, and that's it. We will. It. No, I won't. Yes, no, you won't. will. Louis, lovely to see you, though. And Sharon, lovely love to see you. you. Bye, Always a pleasure, yes. never a chore. You're looking well, Sharon. And I know that off-camera, you're both saying to me, you know what, you're right. But that's what normally happens. That's no. the problem. That's no, the problem. No, no, not this time. I keep it real. Not this time. Sharing the number eight slot on a countdown, ex-Labour leader Jeremy Corbyn and ex-Chancellor Kwasi Kwarteng. Warning, their close friends and family might want to look away now. You've never said sorry for I've never what, said what happened a year sorry. ago. Oh, what just I've over said, a year ago. What I've said, I bear responsibility for it. Why not say and, sorry? Because you haven't condemned what Hamas did on October the 7th, have you? Of course I have, on every speech. And do you unreservedly condemn? At every speech I've made, I've utterly condemned the killing mm. of October the 7th, and it was a taking of innocent life. It was totally wrong under any circumstances. I'm really curious why you've never been able to bring yourself to say the simple words, I'm sorry. After all the damage that was inflicted by that ruinous 44-day regime of Liz Truss, and I'm sure that you would say, and we'll come to this, a lot of it was on her. No, but I'm, not, you... I'm not here to apportion blame. I mean, that's the that's one you, of the reasons why. But if you take why, responsibility for causing, that's one of the reasons why. I, I get it. But if you take and... if you take responsibility, why are you so, also not prepared to say sorry? So I think there's a. It sounds like a loyally distinction, but I think there's a difference. The question then becomes, how do you get rid of them? Now, my question for you is. 
Do you agree Hamas has to go? Look, I don't support Hamas. I'm not a fan of Hamas. I don't agree. You used to call them friends. No, hang on. We did. You're, no, nice. Karen, let's get this clear. We did say that we hang used, on, you hang were on, friendly. Sears, can you hang Sears. on a second? Let me just. Is that not true? There were lots of other people involved in this, okay? There was, I'm not, I'm you not were the take, Chancellor. I'm not going to take sole responsibility. Uh, when there were lots of other people... You're not taking any people. responsibility. Have you heard the Elton John song, Sorry Seems to Be the Yeah, it's a good... It's a, it's a you good, like that it's song? A, it's, a, it's a very good song. You played a lot? Uh, I'm not a big fan of Elton John, but I like right, that song. You know that song? Yeah, 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 I do, I do know that song. Do those words resonate? <laughs> you, what you are said. obsessed, obsessed... With? With tittle-tattle of politics. Really? Something that happens ten years ago. Why don't you, you, think, why you, don't you instead concentrate on You think people on supporting her mass is tittle-tattle? Let me finish, give me a chance. Really? No, all look, I'm not... Coming here to relitigate what you happened last year. You spent ten minutes not wanting to apologise. Um, you, so, you, spent, you spent the year not wanting to apologise. No, I've said, just, I've said I've said millions of times that you that won't I bear responsibility. That we should have, we did things uh, in the wrong way. But in terms of the strategy, I still believe in the strategy. Would you keep a mass in power? You wouldn't answer. They wouldn't it's, be in power. Can you not speak for him? It's not for a puppet God's show. Sake. It's not a puppet show, Len. It's not a puppet He's show. He's allowed to answer for himself. Of course he is. Well, let him real, answer. The reality let is... Let him answer, the Len. The reality Don't is... Don't talk for Jeremy Corbyn. All you want to do is bully people. Who am I bullying? You're bullying constantly. There's two of you. OK. Two of course. One's run the, a party in the Piers. country. Piers. One's run a major union. Piers. Are you really feeling bullied, Len? I'm not. Do I'm, me a favour. I'm not. Do me a bloody favour. Do me a bloody favour. Have you ever apologised for anything? Yeah, I mean, I apologise in my private life the whole time. When was the last time but you apologised for something? I think, um, I think I picked up my daughter from nursery uh, too late and I apologised then of a couple of weeks. So, just to but, be clear... But, hang on. Just to be clear... You're happy to apologise to people so, at a, hang on, at a nursery school yeah, for private, being a few minutes life. late to pick up your daughter, but you're not prepared to apologise no, no, no. to millions so, so, of people so look, for screwing so, their no, personal no, 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 finances no, no. So, Can I put it this way? Would you get rid can of Hamas? Can I say you something? You can answer my question. No, can I say something? Would you get rid of Hamas? Listen, can I say Yes something? or no? Thank you. Uh, and I've never been one for saying, you know, if, as, a, as a politician, um, you know, you're personally... Um, damaging people. There's, there's policy, there's debate. But you did personally lots damage them. Well, no, because there were lots of other things. I did not personally damage those people. I You've did admitted not... the implementation I think of the implement... your strategy and there was a lot of context. was so bad, it and there damaged was, people. No, there was a lot of context as well. You said, well, forget about the context. Well, no, you, the context is important. I know the context. I saw the reaction you got, you to your know, policy. Uh, and I think that, yeah, and there was a white, there was a, there were lots of things going on. Mm. There was also the time where um, I came back from Washington uh, and was sacked and, and, you know, I haven't mm. asked for an apology for that. That's the way... Uh, public affairs uh, these days is conducted. So my question did. again, and just answer this question, would you keep Hamas in power? It's not up to you What's your me? opinion? No, you're, hang on a minute. you're expressing plenty of other opinions, aren't you? Here's, well, can can I you ask, calm down a minute? Can I ask you uh, well, a question? Well, you know, I'm can sorry. You calm down a minute? If you I think ask... Hamas should stay no, in power, you calm say down so. A minute? Can I ask you is a your question? Well, I wanted to answer the question. Can I Listen, ask you no, he can answer it. Can I ask you a question? It's not a puppet show, Len. Can I... Sorry. Was the right? And you're sorry for the damage the implementation so caused the, to so, millions of so people. So there you go. You know, we've had this discussion. I think you're right to say, uh, on consideration, I think you're right to say people should put their hand up. And also, having put their hand up, they should be able to show some contrition. And, and I'm happy so you are to... sorry. I'm happy to show that. Well, Why I'm won't a... you say, Hamas, Piers, should go? You... Are a very strange form of interviewing. Am I? Where you interrupt, shout, and abuse your guests. Well, you refuse to answer my question, and he keeps trying to answer it for you. Look, if you want to have a discussion, fine. Answer my question. If you want to just shout at me, that's your prerogative. Should Hamas... Your TV, your show. Should Hamas stay in power? Listen, what I said was, a ceasefire means a ceasefire. It means both sides have to cease fire. Yeah. It means you then... Now, you said that. Should Hamas stay in power? It's actually you, you're a, done yet? It's actually a critical question. Are you done yet? It's a critical question. Are you done yet? No, it's the question. Am I right in thinking you now, minutes. for the damage that the implementation caused to millions of people, you're sorry? I, 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 I show abject uh, contrition. I'm very... Are you, are you sorry? Look, look, I, I, whatever formula of words. I think, I'm just I asking, think are you sorry? I, I'm, I'm sorry... Um, you're sorry. The turbulence that, the, uh, that was caused. You're sorry for the damage okay. it caused to British people. If, if, if that's what you want me no, to say. No, it's what I want you no, to look, want to say. Well, look, Why can't you have a discussion about how a ceasefire would come about? Why can't you have a discussion about a process for the future? Because you know why, Jeremy? About, which brings about... You know why, Jeremy? Which when brings I... about a peace for everybody because in the region. Because when I repeatedly... And it does not mean that the people of Gaza... Because when I repeatedly... support Hamas. When I repeatedly mean, ask you, you are Hamas a terror organisation and should they stay in power and you are 
simply incapable of saying no, not. that they're a terror group and they shouldn't stay the in most power. Important People will thing. draw their own conclusions. The most important They'll draw their own thing. conclusions. How do you, you stop? Your conclusions before how, anyway, how let me conclude you with this. Uh, you've done a book on poetry. It's Which we called, gave you uh, a copy of. Poetry for the Many. I appreciate it. Thank you Thank very you. much. Wonderful poetry from wonderful people encouraging the working classes to embrace and enjoy culture. Poetry and music for the many. I love poetry. We can agree on that. What I want to say is that I think the strategy was right. I'm sorry for the implementation. Are you that, sorry I for think, the damage caused to the British I'm people? I'm sorry for the implementation, and it was it was too far. Too and for fast. the damage caused to the British people? I don't know why you... Look, there were lots because of... Because they suffered people, financial you know, lots loss. Lots of people were. Lots of people were. But no, but I, you were the Chancellor. OK. I was the Chancellor of the Exchequer. Are you sorry, sorry for, for the financial damage it caused to the British I'm people? I'm sorry for the uh, damage and uh, the loss and... Uh, and it was a scary time, and I'm sorry for that. Quasi. We got there. OK. And so, I've, so, I've not tried to drag that out of you. That's fair enough. For seven on our list, my head-to-head -head encounter with chess grandmaster Hans Neiman. Young Hans has been accused of bending the rules throughout his career. As ever, I was determined to get to the very bottom of the controversy. Well, I'm joined now by Hans Neiman and by his lawyer, Terence Ovi. So, first question, uh, Hans, for you. Why have you got your lawyer with you? Well, uh, considering the, the recent uh, case and settlement, uh, some legal questions I'm, you know, my, my lawyer might be able to better answer and uh, to be honest uh, I'm you know uh, Terry and uh, his team has been frankly you know great in, in, in helping me resolve this case and uh, I'm very very thankful to them for believing in me and uh, you know this is not just a uh, he's not just my lawyer he's, he's a friend he's a confidant and he's someone uh, who I trust uh, fully and uh, uh, that's why he's here today. So I, I don't like people that cheat in any form of competition or sport because to me it just kills the integrity and purity of it and I guess you would agree with that right? No, of course. So, but you, know, you should understand, you know, the difference between when you're, a, you know, young child and, and you're under severe pressure, and, and and you make a mistake. And you know, you should also understand that uh, when it comes to over the board official tournaments, I've never cheated, and there's absolutely no evidence that I've ever cheated. No, but we have. In, no, but here's the, the problem. Board, you know. Here's the problem with that. I, I, like I say, when you're 12, all right, I get it. But to do the same thing again when you're 16 shows there's a pattern. Well, and we only, we only actually have your word for it, right? I mean, there might not be hard evidence to have nailed you, but you can understand why people would be suspicious given your omissions. Pierce, we understand Hans was 16 years old. He made a mistake. We understand that you have a different uh, interpretation. He was playing online in a game that really didn't matter at, at a young age. We understand, and you're not wrong, but to try to extrapolate from the fact of something that he did on an online game when he was 16 and say... Once a cheater, always a cheater. If you did something when you were 16, I'm going to hold it against you for the rest of your life. We think that's a little harsh, and it certainly doesn't properly characterize... Out of um, interest... All right, but tell me, why couldn't he answer that question? I think he was trying to... Well, no... Uh, well, he wasn't. You, you jumped in. Sorry. Yeah, Hans, I mean, it was really aimed at you. You know, if you cheat in a sport once... Well, well, well when I you're young. Say, let, let me... Comp let, well, we, I can give you an analogy as well. So let's say that, you know, you know, you know, a 16-year-old kid went into, like, a a pickup basketball game. That is the equivalent of the games that I cheated in at 16 years old is the equivalent of a meaningless pickup basketball game. Do you think that that should should define my entire career? It's not especially, a foul, you know, though. You're, you're using you're using you know computerized systems to well, some way of to, okay, to, I understand to that. make but moves. Some way I mean, in chess, I can't think of a more egregious way of cheating than doing that. You're using oh. a non-human brain oh. to beat a human. I mean, it's just. For, it's but he did not do that here. But he didn't. He did not do that here. Meaning, what he did back then, what he did uh, about five years ago, and then about ten years ago. You're correct. He, he's uh, he's admitted that and he's apologized for that. Yeah. But that has absolutely nothing to do with what happened here. It, and it, nothing else could be closer to the truth. So you, yesterday, I believe uh, you played Vladimir Kramnik on Chess.com, uh, and you beat him. And Kramnik said, said afterwards, "I've decided to stop playing on Chess.com from tomorrow on." Just too many obvious cheaters on here, and nothing is done to clean the platform from these small crooks. Harsh words, but true. What, you, what did you make of that? Well, the Kremnik situation is quite complex because I actually beat him about a week ago, and uh, he made a video that was a bit confusing. But um, actually, a couple of days ago, I had private correspondence with him where he told me that he has personally has no issue with me, 
and where he said that uh, he, it was not meant to be an accusation whatsoever. So uh, what was it supposed I don't to be? I mean, that couldn't, it couldn't have been a more blatant suggestion well, that you cheated again. Well, that's, could that, it? well that contradicts, uh, you know, the, the direct, you know, the, the private correspondence and email that he sent to me. But and, why would uh, he, he actually you, invited me? Why would he me. infer you're a cheat in public in the way that he did? That was yesterday. Well, he, inv he but he, he, it's, he, my name was never mentioned. You know, he's, he's just, accused he's just a lot you. of people of cheating. He's accused. Yeah, but he's, he's, he played, that same day, he played against, you know, 10 other people. Right. And considering that I was invited by him to Amsterdam to meet him and to play games with him, um, it seems a bit weird uh, that, you know, uh, that he would do that, you know, and then the next day supposedly accused me of cheating. So, you know, I understand that how it might look, but, uh, you know, he's privately reached out to me and I was invited to Amsterdam. I unfortunately can't go um, due to another conflict, but uh, I hope to meet him and to discuss things in more detail with him. Okay, you sued um, Magnus Carlsen. Isn't that Carlson. the real damage of this also, Pierce? Isn't that the real damage as well? So whenever now someone beats someone, rather than acknowledge it and say that I'll get better, now this has set a precedent that whenever someone beats you, well, yeah, instead of, of trying to make yourself unfortunately, better, you try to take it away from them. Yes, but unfortunately, actions have consequences. If you admit you've cheated twice over a four-year period, uh, and you become a grand master the year after the second time, and you're now only 20 now, people are going to obviously cast aspersions. Well, why, well, why do think you focus on those two isolated incidents? Why don't you focus on well, all the, the hundreds two he's of matches to. that he's won? They're the two your clients admitted well, to. Of course, but the other, the, the other hundreds of matches that he's won, are those totally meaningless? So you can always focus on the shade. I don't know. I don't know. I can well. only... The majority... I'm not judging your client. I'm just saying he's admitted to cheating twice over a four-year period, and that's why maybe people are... In meaningless games, you know. I mean, people do wonder, you're, how you're did correct. you beat... Not... They do wonder, how did you beat Magnus Carlsen? Um... OK, well, if you want to take that logic, you know, you want to take that logic, right? So I have proven my strength, right? Chess.com themselves have said that since I, you know, since they gave me a short ban before, they said that since then I have never cheated. Mm. So... On their website, I've beaten some of the best players in the world. I've performed at the highest level on their website, which they, they themselves say that I, I didn't cheat in. In addition to that, in over-the-board tournaments, I have continued to play chess at a very, very high level. I have, you know, you know my, ranking, I, my ranking did not just drop. I continued to play well even after this victory. I have proven my, my chess level and my chess strength time and time again. This is simply a case of, of you know, where... Bullies are, 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 you know, going after someone because they threaten their business interests. So is you know, Magnus Carlsen a bully? That... Of course he's a bully. He used his entire empire. He used his connections to chess.com. He leveraged his, you know, the fact that there's a, you know, a, a merger happening. And he got all of these people to attack me. And it was, it's a bully. It's a simple thing. But, you know, I don't, you know, let people bully me. I'm going to stand up to him. And I stood up to him. And, you know, I look forward to competing him against the board again. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm going to, you know, do what I do best and, and, and prove myself. Are you still time suing time him? Again. Are you still suing him for $100 million? No. You dropped that. The case has been resolved, Pierce. Yeah, did, did he... Correct. Well, did, yeah. did he pay any money or...? We can't discuss that. OK. Out of interest, how do you, how do you disprove that you've used anal beads to cheat? <laughs> I mean, how, how can I, you know, prove a, disprove a negative? It's, it's like, well, no, you know, how, how do you expect me... That was never a, a serious thing. That was something that the media caught up. But that was, you know, if you, if you look at the, the consensus among chess players, the consensus among experts, it is an unequivocal fact that I have never cheated in an over-the-board game. Yeah, be, but Hans, I'm be, just wondering, how do you disprove it? I mean, were you strip-searched? Did they explore cavities? Where do we go here? Well, through tournaments, there are security checks where they, you know, will do, you know, various security checks, you know, metal detectors, different scanners. Um, Would that pick up anal so beads? You know? they, I, I don't know, Piers. So I, I have no. I'm genuinely I, curious. You should I have invite no idea. them on your I'm show. Not... You should. You should invite them on your show and ask them that. It appears that. That's the main topic of your curiosity, appears to be that, as opposed to the fact that you have a 19-year-old champion who defeated a champion, who defeated the whole world of chess in the largest cyberbullying case in history, the world of chess versus Hans Niemann. And he's here to talk about it, and he's still a victor. And instead of becoming bitter, he became better. And you want to ask him about the anal bead, something he never said or never did? We don't know the answer to that question, Pierce. Maybe you can ask the anal bead people. Have them on your show, and they can explain it to you better.
I think I will, because it's actually a fast... I mean, I, listen, I love chess. I was my school, my prep school you chess champion. You seem to champion. love anal beads better, Pierce. Well, I was my prep school chess champion. I never cheated. You're a better person. You're a better person. You, your words, not mine, Terence. Uh, but I'm just yes. I'm genuinely curious. It was a massive story, as you know. It's why you're famous outside of uh, the chess world. It's because there was this allegation made, and it was fueled by the world champion, who couldn't understand how in normal circumstances you would beat him. Uh, and then came Mrs. Uh, well, he's lost to many people of my same ranking many times. So this idea that it's a statistical anomaly, he can lose one game. Mm. And, and that's the issue, right? He lost to people similar age, similar rating, multiple times recently. So me beating him in a singular game is not a statistical anomaly, right? He hasn't agreed to play you, as I understand it. Is he, is he chickening out? What's the deal there? No, he has agreed to play me. He put out a public statement that he's, he will play right, against me. Right, but there's me. no date, right? So, well, when, it, when we were matched in a tournament, uh, which, which was, is inevitable, uh, 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 we will play. And will you allow yourself to be strip searched just to rule out any rumours? I find that question to be just, you know, I, I can't take you seriously when you ask those questions, Pierce. I'm sorry. Because you're, you're entertaining, uh, 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 honestly, an allegation that should, should not even be taken seriously. Because it's, it's purely, you know, for, you know, for you to get media attention when this, when this is it's not even a serious thing. How can, how can you, as a reporter, take that allegation seriously at all. Well, I understand. No, but owns... I know, do you genuinely believe that? No, but do you... Do you, Hang uh, on. you know, Do you actually I, believe that that, I, that is the case? I don't know. Could you, could you even I fathom a world... I don't know. Where, I know you're is... capable of cheating because you've admitted it. I don't know how far you go. You cheated twice in a four-year well, period. I've never cheated in an over-the-board game. I've never... Well, I'm clearly not... I'm not capable and I've never cheated in an over-the-board game. But so, we only so have let's, your let's word for that. You accept clear. that, right? We have your word for My that. My word, it's unequivocal. Chess.com themselves said that. Right. It is an unequivocal statistical fact that mm. I have never cheated in an over-the-board game. And that is something you cannot debate. Elon Musk, as you know, tweeted uh, on what was known as Twitter then, is now X, talent hits a target no one else can hit, genius hits a target no one can see because it's in your butt. What did you feel when you read that? Well, uh, I was a bit surprised. Um, you know, uh, I was surprised, uh, you know, I, I, I didn't really think much of it. You know, I, I focus on competing and um, I don't let these things affect me. And uh, my goal is to become the best chess player in the world and, and, and to give back to chess players all around the world. And uh, I think that chess is a beautiful game that should be spread. And that's why I intend to do a lot more charity work and, and give back to the communities who, who help me. Do you think when you play Magnus Carlsen again, you'll kick his butt, for want of a better phrase? You know, I'll just let my chess speak for itself. Hans Neiman. Uh, and Terence, your lawyer. Thank you both very much indeed. Thank you. Hans Neiman, the bad boy of chess.